1997, we got the mega blockbuster Men in Black. Two years later, we're still fighting the same fight, this time with a little more equality. Women in Black. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? How are you doing today? Jim Powers, another Jim Powers. Heatwave production, our fourth for both those categories. But wait, it's Monday. Happy Memorial Day. What happened to yesterday's release? Yesterday's release got flagged by YouTube. Hopefully we are not in trouble. It's a good one. And it'll it'll be out whenever it's hopefully re released. It's a long one too. I feel sorry. Someone, It's not like a three minute video that someone has to manually review. It's a 30 minute video that someone at Barefoot I mean, someone at YouTube has to watch. But for today, our fourth Jim Powers. We've been on campus and we've been doing spoofs. We've had Kelly the Coed and Sorority Sisters, a white and black look at campus life. Now we're doing another parody. We did Planet of the Babes and now we're doing Women in Black. Two sci-fis, two campus lives. This one was kind of in our uh, gray area. It wasn't a reject. I cut this about six months ago. I cut it around the time of Planet of the Babes. I didn't feel like I did my job well enough telling their story. So it got put on the back burner. Now we got thrown in like the YouTube limbo land. So I, I feel like I have to do something to our audience. So I did some retinkering with this and I think it's good to go. Directed and shot as usual, by Jim Powers. Released, as usual, by Heatwave. I think I said both those things in the intro. Now this is a Tabitha Stevens vehicle. Of course, we'll talk about all the actors in the end, but I love Tabitha Stevens. Still prolific in the, in the world of modeling and horror films. This picture was 88 minutes long. We got ours down to seven. Triple X, we got ours down to PG. A lot of innuendos and a couple violations. Their word, not mine. Both are words. All right, this is a fun movie. A lot of people love the parodies, the spoofs, sci-fi, special effects, green paint, special effects. Let's watch the movie. We'll talk about Tabitha and the whole cast when we come back. I hope your pa don't walk in on us. I'd be so embarrassed. Don't worry about him. He went to town to sign me up for that big contest. The French kissing contest? Mm-hmm. You think you could win? I'm the best French kisser in the whole county. Pa even told me so. was with my girls and he was green man green you green. just settle down billy joe i'm telling you it's got to be jim bob playing some kind of practical joke on no you. no i i seen jim bob before it was not jim bob okay i seen jim bob how much did you have to drink today i'm telling you i ain't been drinking all Sheriff. right boy just settle down hey how you folks doing today agent jones this is my partner agent smith We'd like to know what transpired here today. What transpired here today? I'll, t I'll tell you what transpired here today. Take a look at my little darlings. I mean, look at them now. Now, how's my little girl going to win the French kissing contest looking like this? And, and, and Daisy May, I'm telling you, when her pappy sees her, he's coming after me with a shotgun. That's what he's going to do. And, and I ain't touched her in months. There. You've had a little bit too I'd much like to take a statement. Mr. Redeker, why don't you just show me where the incident had occurred? Oh, I'll show you where the son of a bitch violated right over here. And, uh, look, green skin everywhere, I'm telling you. Listen, Mr. Whitaker, this is a very sensitive situation. 
And uh, we have some serious problems here. Well, we certainly do. I got two pregnant little girls. I know, I know, but we can take care of the girls. That's no problem. You just got to make sure you keep things secretive. So can you keep a secret? Oh, yeah, I can keep you secrets. Can keep a secret? Good. How to go to the farmhouse? Everything under wraps? Don't worry, Inspector. That hick won't be talking. I took care of it personally. And I handled the police. It's fine. Just fine. But unfortunately, that's not the end of it. The report's almost doubled in the last week and a half. I really need both of you to stay on your toes. Inspector, I'll lay on my back till I have bed sores. And I'll get on my knees till they're torn to the bone. If it'll help keep our planet safe. Thank you, Agent Jones. I think. You better not be taking no pictures of me. I ain't dressed, you know. <laughs> what are you gonna do, abduct me or something? No abduction. Just something. Hey, uh, honey, where are we? I think we took a wrong turn somewhere. Earthlings, come over here. What's that? What are you calling us from the street? We're staying the lunch. Not for long. I want to go check out the bread for pizza. What is this, sir? Mr. Nikki Pantese? I'm Agent Smith. I'll be handling your report. Hey, how's you doing? Uh, my real name's Dominic. Most people call me Nikki. You can call me Nick. Well, this is a very delicate matter. Delicate matter? You ain't gotta tell me about no delicate matter, all right? This is a very delicate matter. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean, right? Well, we understand that you're concerned. We, 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 we. Hold on. All I see here is you, me. Well, we is the agency, the federal government. And we don't want it getting out that space aliens are coming down. It would cause widespread panic. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I mean, uh, you ain't got to twist my arm with a beautiful bride like you. Latov, you've done an exceptional job. Everyone's been silenced. And once again, peace prevails across our great planet. The two of you ought to be commended. Thank you, sir. We do what we can. What's this all about? Uh, our son was violated by two country bumpkin... And you want us to do something about it? Or otherwise, I'm going to tell everyone on our planet what happened here today. Uh... <laughs> uh can we have a moment, please? Make it quick. Do you have any idea what happens if they go back to the planet and tell? They attack, destroying every major city in the world with a powerful weapon that tears the flesh from the bones, leaving the muscular system to dry and rot in the sun. And then they take the human race as slaves back to their planet and make them work in the sulfur mines. In addition, they're going to take the earth and set it on fire. Plus, they've got bamboo shoots they stick up under the fingernails. In addition to making tiny little paper cuts all over our bodies and throwing rubbing alcohol in. No. Worse. They'll stop coming. No more tourism. No more salary. No more pension. No more retirement home in Barbados. We'll be unemployed. <laughs> if we were to get out that uh, aliens were being violated by Earthlings, it would cause a widespread panic. And uh, we need to keep isolated instances like this hush. This is a very delicate situation we have here. However, we need your assurance. What can we do for you to get you to keep this quiet? You stop right there.
We'll give you some satisfaction. All right. What'd you think of that? 1999's Women in Black. Did you like the names of our agents? Tabitha Stephen and Naomi. They played Agent Smith, Agent Jones. Now that might be teetering the line a little bit in a spoof to name your actors after the real life Will Smiths and Tommy Lee Jones that played their parts. I like it though. It's kind of punk rock, which is pretty Jim Bowers. Tabitha Stevens played Agent Jones. I love Tabitha Stevens. I follow her on all her socials. We just did um, the Friday the 13th official parody, which she was not only the bartender, but she produced the film with her husband, Gary Dean Arona, the amazing photographer, videographer, cinematographer. Oh, oh, you know what's funny? Our pulled video, or not pulled, that's not the right word. Our flagged video is related to that movie. Anyways, if you want to see a cool YouTube vlog page, look up Tabitha is fun. It's amazing. It is shot. So it's, it's a YouTube channel, but it's like a television show. Everything is so professional. Her and her husband are still producing the uh, very Corman-esque horror films. Some might say B horror. If that's not a pejorative to you, it's not to me. Uh, die Influence or Die. They made that. She was in it. What was I saying? Oh, Tabitha is fun. Very cool. Very professional. The vlog. It's like, uh, uh, it's like an old school Casey Neistat, except for with a pretty model. Naomi played Officer Smith. You might know her from Dreamcatcher, the Michael Nin film. Also, also in 1997, the year Men in Black came out, the world's luckiest man. She was in the John Holmes, John Holmes, geez Louise. She was in the John Doe movie that he starred in and directed. A bunch of big name uh, gentlemen in this, Billy Glide and Kyle Stone, both of them almost in a thousand movies very prolific actors in this speaking of corman-esque b horror pictures kyle stone was in evil bong 2 billy glide was in cafe flesh 2 similarities abound steve hatcher rocker dude being interrogated from sorority slaughter party which we are doing right now oh i guess i lied to you we're doing sorority sleepover. He was in sorority slumber party. Maybe we'll look into that. Maybe we'll do a double header, drive-in, double feature, just to go with this Corman-esque B-horror film that I've now brought up like five times. How many do you think made it into the edit though? A bunch of beautiful women that you'll see little slivers of. If you wanna see any more of these people, clearly you're adults, you're smart. You can go watch the, the, the feature, not our highly edited short clean version. Lena Hart and Brooke Ashley are in this. Also, two girls with the coolest names ever. Candy Vegas, Montana Gun. If I go to Vegas to get some candy, I'm bringing my gun from Montana. Duh. Duh. It's so late. Can you hear the birds chirping? All right, thanks for watching. I'm excited for you to see yesterday's flagged video. It's very cool. It's from 1973. It took me a long time. Hopefully that's not disrespectful to Jim Powers that I took, um, I took something from the gray area pile and then released it. But I like this movie. I'm a big fan of Jim Powers. Not to brag, but he follows Barefoot on Twitter. I mean, obviously we follow him too. I love this movie and I want you to not think of this as an alternate. Just think of it as a bonus. All right, thanks for watching. Don't do those things and then do the other things. Don't subscribe, don't like, don't share, just watch. 
a bunch of cool updates. We're going to make a video about it this week. I talked about it yesterday and a bunch of cool new things that are happening, which you'll hear about this week. I talked about it yesterday and I'll see you soon.